Here's a little demo video of my amplifier, the white worm. <coughs> um, version 1.0, oh, while I'm tweaking it. Um, if you'll pan over here, I've got um, some different sound clips on here, like kind of a rock and roll, kind of a clean, another kind of clean thing. So yeah, I'm going to put it on that kind of rock thing and then. Um, so I don't know if you can hear me, you know, it's pretty loud that this is an iPhone mic, so it might not pick up very well, so you'll have to really come along on the journey with me. Um, all the way to this side is the pentode. I need to get a reverse taper pot, and all the way this side is the triode. Um, I wired it differently and it just doesn't respond the same. So I need to get um, a reverse logarithmic one meg pot. Otherwise I'll have to kind of do it like this. So it seems counterintuitive for the gain to go up this way and the gain to go down this way, unlike the volume. So here's full on. up when you go over. It gets, it gets really loud, by the way. I don't know how well this phone's going to pick all that up. So here's kind of our clean sound. This tone stack, I'm not 100% sure I like it. It's called the Bone Ray Tone Stack. I don't know. It's just, it's not very intuitive and it just, it's kind of all over the place. Which is cool, but I feel like I'll have to make an instruction manual with like recommended settings for someone. So here's what I'm playing around with right now. If you can see this, I hope you can read the values on there pretty well. Um, it's not focusing worth a shit, unfortunately. I'm getting um, 235 volts going into the EF86 there. I think it's kind of set up for about a gain of 100. Um, I'm working on the impedance right now going into this cathode follower. I unbypassed this first section of it because um, I didn't like it. And I also increased this to 1.2 to kind of reduce some of the hardcore gain coming out of the EF86. 
what I kind of ideally want is, you know, to get a nice crunch sound way up high on the morph. Although it'd be nice to get kind of a clean EF86 sound. I don't know. And then get all my crunch from here, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, uh, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm still kind of tweaking it. Um, this is my main B plus here. I've got a diode rectified now. It's not using the tube, although it's kind of set up to do either. I'm getting about 250 volts coming in at the main B plus here. Okay, so might tweak a few things. Um, getting 237 going to the cathode follower. 147 coming out of it there. Stuff like that. Anyway, just want to kind of show you that as a starting point. Um. that kind of sparkly glassy tone which is cool um and still a work in progress anyway that's where it's at right now thanks